you ever wanted to create that cool boomerang effect, also known as the rewind effect, in your videos? Today I'm going to show you exactly how to do it using Filmora. Before we dive in, if you find this tutorial helpful, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome video editing tips. Alright, no more delays, let's jump into Filmora and get started. Alright guys, let's get started by adding your clip to Filmora. The first thing we need to do is adjust the speed. So select your clip and go to the speed settings. Then choose speed ramp and select customize. Now we need to make the clip speed up at the beginning and slow down at the end. You can adjust the first point to make it as fast as you need. I increased it to 10x speed. At the end, bring it down to something like 0.2x speed. We don't need the middle points, so go ahead and remove them by clicking this remove icon right here. Ok now that we've adjusted the speed as needed, we can add a pan and zoom effect, to give it a nice little parallax look. This step is optional, but I'll show you how to do it. So go to the crop tool, and select pan and zoom. Then choose the end box and adjust its size to be a little bigger. Then adjust the position as you need. And once you're satisfied, click apply. Now we have a nice zoom effect that smoothly reacts with the speed ramp we created. To complete this effect, we need to duplicate the clip and reverse it. Select the layer and press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Next convert this duplicated layer into a compound clip by pressing Alt plus G, then give it a name and hit OK. Then select the compound clip, go to the speed settings again and choose reverse speed and that's it. Now our rewind effect is complete. So here's the result. Also if you feel like the effect is a bit slow, you can adjust the clip length by modifying where the first clip ends and the second clip starts. So guys, that's how you create an awesome boomerang effect, also known as the rewind effect, in Filmora. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you're looking to learn more cool video editing techniques, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. So thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.